Hey guys, last week I bought a thing on Reverb.com which, if you didn't know, is a worldwide marketplace for musicians kinda like if eBay was built for musicians and today that thing showed up in the mail all the way from Japan I'm very excited because the thing in this box has a very special place in my heart it really affected me and how I would go about my tone searching in here is my first love, my sexual debut in guitar playing. Back in 1995, it took my virginity and I will never forget it. Let's open it up. MarketReverb.com set me up with the challenge to pick any vintage Pell I wanted to shoot a video that they would sponsor. So thanks to Mark and Reverb for making this video happen. And after I finish shooting this, we're actually going to give this pedal away to one of you guys. I'll give some more details at the end. Oh, a nice little message from my Japanese dude. Hey, Ola. I, I can't read it. Oh, enjoy this cool old thing. I hope it brings back great memories. Yours, TJ. Oh. I'll give these to my kids because they love doing this. Oh, okay. Ooh. What is this? This brings back old, old memories. See? This is the Korg AX30G multi effect pedal. For me, a classic in the multi effect pedal range. This was the creme a la creme, and with its beautiful plastic encasing and responsive and rigid plastic foot switches. A super responsive expression pedal, built-in tuner and just overall everything you need basically. It was the Axe FX of the 90s. And the Korg AX30G was the first multi-effect pedal I've ever owned. And I remember that I read in a Pantera interview somewhere that Dimebag was using one of these. My dad bought this for me on my birthday and I was just super happy because now I would totally sound like Dimebag. And uh, back then I used it into a Fender concert clean amplifier channel and I was absolutely slaying with this unit all right I'm excited so let's check it out I'm gonna plug it in okay so now I've hooked up the unit into my Randall Satan effects loop and uh, yeah I'm excited to try it out and see how it sounds and if I remember if it was as awesome as 20 years back okay first preset hostile <laughs> It's not too bad. Oh! I definitely remember that, that's totally useless. That's nice! Sabbath. Sorry, Sabbath. I fed up your lick. Oh. Okay, so let's see if I can make a badass distortion sound. Pretty badass as it is. Edit. No. Okay, no. Parameter value. What? What? Edit. Okay. Shame block. Distortion 2. Okay. <laughs> no. No reverb. Okay, how do I get rid of that weird sound? What is going on? 
Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't want to sound like John Bon Jovi, please. Oh well, I mean... <laughs> it feels kind of weird nowadays, you're totally spoiled with having, you know, an editor on your computer. But back in the day, you were sitting pushing buttons like this and nothing made sense. Oh, random step filter. Yes, away. No, no. Bad pedal. Oh my god. No. 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 Tone. Edit. No! What the hell? Okay, it might not sound exactly like I remembered, or it's not as easy to work with as I remembered, but I'm very happy that I got a chance to try this again. This was the first time I've ever bought something on Reverb, and I've always been kind of scared buying secondhand stuff online because I've been fooled before. But it's been a really awesome experience from start to finish. And uh, I'm actually thinking of looking to sell some stuff on that site too. So go follow my shop there to be sure not to miss out on whatever I'm selling. So even if I'm happy to see and try out this pedal again, I'm going to sign this pedal and you will be able to win it in a competition. Just click the link down in the description or up here or there and it will take you to the competition page. That will be all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm watching you.